Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general of reading for my friends Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Loud shuffle. And we are ready with two cards in my hand. So your energies, guys. Ace of Swords. Nine of Wands. Four of Cups. Your person's energies. Seven of Swords. Queen of Cups. Five of Swords. Meeting energies, two of wands, soulful decision, page of swords, the focus, four of swords, a lot of swords, nine of pentacles, bottom of the deck, the single lady. The decision is about the nine of pentacles, absolutely. And no wonder, considering the challenging combination of energies for this person, seven of swords, five of swords. Death card, bottom of the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Uh, it can be the closing of a situation, um, meaning that we are looking at a flow of energies that can be about a transformation towards the chance to be single by releasing a difficult partner. Uh, the Queen of Cups is an interesting energy that is uh, kind of out of place considering the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. The feeling is about someone that is unable to listen and trust their heart. Because the Queen is intuitively guided, she has mastered the self-love ability and she can perfectly understand what her heart uh, wants for her but this energy is overwhelmed by the seven of swords and the five of swords which can be energies about uh, ego and behaviors that uh, are not aimed at the best possible outcome and so they can undermine a connection that's why the nine of wands the wounded warrior that's why the closed off approach four of cups uh, influenced you got your clarity with the ace of swords about the partnership with this person they can be a little bit immature page of swords the silence in the focus four of swords it can be about healing for some of you guys considering the wounded warrior but it's also the introspection that can allow some of you to fulfill the two of ones uh, crossroads in order to be single, kind of embracing the death card as a revolution. A situation as it was will be completely different moving forward. And so to complete um, the considerations about this person, I am sure that you know the drill about the seven of swords, lies, betrayals, deceits. Um, it can be a tricky uh, set of behaviors it can work against a partnership uh, with the five of swords I do not like the combination um, as you may know if you are familiar with our channel this man is ego driven he wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so and in reality it doesn't really matter clouded interactions um, twisting words also for me especially with this combination um, the people surrounding him at some point, because the pattern is going on uh, for too long, um, they have the chance to remove from the situation. Leaving the man behind with all his swords, uh, stay alone, whatever you say. Talk about the satisfaction then, when there is no one else around. This is kind of the point. And it is a, a missed chance because of the Queen of Cups energy involved. 
overwhelmed by the other two energies unable this person to uh, trust and follow their heart in order to grant balance and nurturing and loving energies in favor of a connection um, for some of you guys ace of swords truth and clarity being in alignment kind of fulfilling the focus for of sword driven uh, diving deeper into an introspection in order to think things straight in order to gather knowledge um, asking for guidance also the ace of swords can be a precise energy of communication uh, extremely straightforward accepting no nonsense kind of like the beautiful lady in the nine of pentacles um, this can also be the energy that can cut this connection away because it couldn't work the nine of wands the wounded warrior someone that has gone through a lot of challenges but also someone brave that has found a way to power through to endure and persevere learning quite a lot about himself and about the journey so the interactions that can take place in our everyday life the four of cups guys is the closed off approach that some of you will decide to embrace uh, when this person can say to you look let's stay together i want you to stay with me some of you may embrace this energy because there is a level of aspirations and expectations that um, is not properly matched within the connection and this page of swords is playing the role of someone immature if you are able to channel nine of pentacles energy even if it is a single one but let's consider the beautiful lady as the independent human being that can shine bright plus you have the wisdom of the experience that we can find in the nine of wands you will spot if a person is ego driven and basically thinks that they are the only source of attention in an interaction this can be despite the fact that the pages can be lovely this can be an immature energy it's kind of like some of you have outgrown a partner feelings can be sincere again because of the queen of cups but there is the inability they are not able to trust their heart and to prove what their heart is kinda asking them to do and this can be truly a missed chance this can be an energy of communication also simple going with the ace of swords it can be the opportunity to say look i have made a decision this is a soulful decision for me it can be an influence for the following chapters of the journey no wonder considering the uh, death card we are going to change something basically with this combination of energies and this man is holding the world in his hand so his life for me and he is evaluating a lot of aspects in a quiet moment he is paying attention to all the teeny tiny details that can make the difference within a connection and if the decision is to be single but fulfilled just like the lady in the nine of pentacles um, some of you are available to embrace the stage of the journey because the lady can take care for herself she has uh, no interest whatsoever in codependent connections or let's say unbalanced interactions and she will look for a fair companion as i usually say someone that can match frequencies virtues values and aspirations someone that will not run away from the queen of cups energy because they are caught up in their ego all right all right we have a jumper out from the wisdom of the oracle deck so let's pull some cards for guidance considering these energies guys let's see what we can discover three more so the first one 
round and round, which for me is a two of pentacles energy, a situation that is ongoing and we need to figure out uh, how to resolve it. This is a tricky combination. Seven of swords, five of swords. Uh, we need to put uh, a closing point. Co-create a three of wands type of vibration for me, setting clear intentions and kind of being ready to work with the universe. What the beautiful lady in the Nine of Pentacles is willing and ready to do. Thinker, which is the Four of Swords. It's an evaluation, but it's a truthful one because of the Ace of Swords. And for me, the Death card, guys, can be an opportunity to sweep away leftovers from the past. Uh, these energies can be burdens. Blessed. This can be blessings. This can be an energy about uh, the satisfaction that a person able and brave enough to shine bright on their own can find along the way. Because basically this can be about uh, leaving behind um, a situation that was not a fulfilling one. And the death card as a transition, as a revolution, can make space for something new. Ask your angels, always a positive thing to do, uh, asking for guidance, uh, trying to get in touch with our intuition. Asking the good questions in order to find precious answers, as I usually say. Big happy changes. Well, considering the death card, this is quite an encouragement. An improvement. Unlikely the chance to stay with this person considering this flow they kind of they have played their cards in um in a way that didn't pay off and cannot pay off moving forward they may ask to some of you to stay but doesn't seem something that can find uh, some of you open because of the four of cups energy there are expectations that um, you can fulfill pursuing other chances other opportunities so guys let's close this reading pulling some cards from this smaller deck all right we got these two the runner runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to ego there are two factors that we have kind of mentioned when it comes to codependent relationship, let's say unbalanced interactions, listening to ego, this person, seven of swords, five of swords, they pay a lot of attention to their ego. The runner in this case, guys, is about someone that will go away. And this can be about some of you. Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, and letting you know feelings are a factor when it comes to the queen of cups but the seven of swords and the five of swords are undermining the energy it's not channeled properly by this person ego driven they may ask to some of you to stay with them we have a major crossroads we have a major crossroads and according to this flow there is a closed off approach with the Four of Cups, basically, here. And then we have the single energy of the Nine of Pentacles and the transition with the Death card. So it's kind of like we are moving towards singlehood because this partnership couldn't work. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way to some of you. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.